What's up guys? Jeff with HKS Systems Lock and Safe Pulling Well. A little bit of promo there. Uh, so what are we working on today? Today we're going out to uh, go open up a Bighorn gun safe. Cleaning up around here. Uh, I'll post a picture up here of that. So what's it got? It's got uh, behind the door. We've already pulled the instructions for uh, what's behind the door. We know the handing. We know the make, the model, everything like that. Uh, customer says he's been using it for five years. No problems. All of a sudden, it stopped working. Electronic safes. So let's troubleshoot electronic safes. And let's go through the steps of what I do as a technician for a living for safes do. Okay, so... Electronic safes are basically very simple. You're going to have three different components, technically four. Uh, lock body, the cable from the lock body to the keypad, the keypad, and power. All those need to be in place for it to work. It needs to have a starting point and an ending point. Um, what we can determine from here to here is already in the safe. We can't really do anything inside the safe, especially if it's locked. There's nothing we could do at this point. All we can work on is from here over. So, we've got a keypad. The way keypads work on most electronic locks are um, they use resistance of some kind. So, in simplest terms, let's just say the number one is a one, a one uh, resistor, number one resistor. Two would be a number two resistor, three would be three, four would be four, so on and so forth. Um, their resistance. So what happens sometimes when a keypad goes bad, it's uh, microchips. Uh, it'll literally, ins you hit one, it should be sending a one resistance um, value to the keypad, f from the keypad to the lock body. Um, sometimes, because it is electronic, it can happen, it won't send that. It'll send a 1.8, which is out of variance. They have a variance of about 5% of what you could send and it'll actually be read as that so if any one of those numbers especially if it's in your code if one of those values fluctuate or become faulty for some reason or another doesn't matter uh it's it's a pc so really there's no way for me to troubleshoot that um that it will actually send the wrong code so if your code is one two three four five six you send one, two, three, four, five, six to the lock body. It energizes, opens. Um, but if you press one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's reading one as one point eight, now it's reading a different value. So it's basically saying two, three, four, two, two, three, four, five, six. If you follow my drift, it's basically reading the wrong value. So it's not reading it as your true proper code. So what is there we can do? Uh, a couple things. Um, if it's at all available, and it depends on the manufacturer. Securam's pretty smart about that, that you can actually take off keypad and just install a new keypad if it's available. Not all manufacturers have that ability. Um, some of them are hardwired, so you can't uh, just take that off. Um, other ones are not. So one thing I always say is 99% uh, of the time you'll see is bad value for batteries i'm just showing you this amazon one it works but typically i would suggest 99 percent of the time get duracell um the pro cells are really nice they have actually a pro cell uh intense model now which i've been using with great success uh it's a nine volt system um you could get them right off of amazon really nice though um what it does basically is the issues with that is when you press your code in, it's looking for an in, in rush of current and amperage to, I'm sorry, amperage technically, to uh, throw this lock. So what happens is if it doesn't have enough juice, basically, in your battery, it's not going to allow that juice to flow into the lock, and it may not fire correctly, meaning that it'll be unable to remove whatever it does in here the magic of the lock it won't be able to unlock that safe lock so um if you see now securam's got the, a nice feature you can see this one's open well what's that about 
Securam's a nice feature that it's got the same running motor that locks it and unlocks it. It's a very, in my opinion, it's the best electronic lock safe out there right now uh, that I've found, and I use them exclusively. Um, but I do have other brands. I mean, I use Sargent and Greenleaf. I use Lagarde. I use Amsec. They're all pros and cons, but I really do like the Securam. They seem to be a good brand. So what happens, uh, why does that stay locked? Because what I did was just cycle it. As it cycles open, you could pull the battery, and it won't relock until you put the battery in and recycle it again. So we're just going to put the battery in. Sorry, doing this one-handed. Uh, you see a beep, and we're going to do... See, that doesn't read it, so we're going to do the factory code. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you see it lock. it's open, and now it'll relock. So if we do the same thing, and we pull the battery... Unlock, pull the battery quickly before it relocks, and you can see it'll stay open until I replug it and put the code in to rerun that motor. So, really, all you can do as a consumer is make sure A, you have a good fresh battery, and B, make sure your wires are not frayed or pulled out. That's really all you can do as a consumer. So, I would tell you. If your lock is not working, all you can service is from here over because it's the outside of the safe. Unless your safe's open, then you could take this apart and try to dilly-dally. I don't suggest that. If you don't know what you're doing, you're looking for trouble. Uh, there are no serviceable parts in that, by the way, so don't bother taking this lock apart. It's not going to do you any good. Um, it's basically just going to... You're, you'll ruin it. There, there's no way to uh, repair these. It's sort of set from the factory. There's nothing of value in there that you could repair so you're basically going to be from here over check your cord check your keypad check your battery that's all you can do at that point it's going to end up being either a faulty one of those three um, and occasionally yes you do get a faulty key uh, a faulty lock system in there hey guys jeff with hks systems lock and safe so what are we working on today today we're going to go open up a big horn gun safe uh, not that difficult of a safe. Actually, I think they're ghost made by other companies from China. Uh, they are exactly inside, looks exactly like the Sports of Field model. So what are we bringing? Um, it's an electronic lock safe, Securam Basic. We're bringing that to use as the main uh, keypad universal interface. We're bringing scopes just in case. Bringing drill rig um, and that box too. Then we gotta come back. I got a bunch of stuff today. I gotta go uh, to a factory, do some work there. I got a bunch of Amazon returns. Tomorrow we got uh, electronic lock access systems. We got all that crap for a customer that's a friend. That's the only reason I'm doing residential. You know, I don't do residential anymore, but he's a friend of a friend, so I said I'd do it for him. Regretting already, haven't even gotten it done yet. Um, but either way, we're going to be opening that. Apparently, what the deal is with that is he is going to uh, supply me with the uh, combination. It says he puts the combination in, and it just automatically does a timeout for him. So we'll see. We'll be back. We'll post when we can. Here's a picture of it right now. And we'll post what I can when I'm done. Here's the picture. What's up guys? Jeff with HKS Systems Lock and Safe. So just finishing up on that uh, safe we opened, which was the Bighorn gun safe with the Securam. 
So you win some, you lose some. You know, I'm the big fan of Securam. I have them on some of my own safes. Um, I've been using them since day one. And I really do like them. Uh, so this is actually a case of hooked up the Phoenix. His issue was his key system that he had, his keypad. He put the code in, did it twice. It'd go into lockout mode automatically. So didn't know if it was a bad keypad or not. Took it off. And I'll upload some pictures here. Uh, took the keypad off, ended up uh, hooking it up to the Phoenix for the universal keypad option. It automatically gave me a timeout uh, in penalty mode, which I know because he was actually, I used his keypad twice, it did go into lockout. So let that go, put his code in, First, I checked the code. It said it was not a valid code. What's that mean? Well, I, I believe the guy obviously was the user of it. He's been using it, and he wasn't that old, so it wasn't, I don't think, a memory issue or anything. Uh, put in one, two, three, four, five, six. Check that code, not valid. Tried to program it. Wouldn't take programming from the keypad either, the Universal Phoenix keypad. So, ended up being, yeah, the keypad was fine and the actual lock body malfunction somehow in the PC board with the programming so no matter what it wasn't taking any codes of any kind uh, I would just take the two put you in the timeout penalty mode for five minutes reset then you could put in anything else you wanted and automatically it would take you and put you back in penalty mode so after doing that four times uh, which was ten minutes of wasted time it came down to, yep, got to drill it. Um, this is only the second one in the 30 years I've been in the trade that I've had to drill. It's not unheard of, but it's very uncommon. So, yeah, it happens. Uh, long and short, drilled it open, repaired the hole, uh, installed a new lock body, tested it, reset his combination to what he needed, and uh, had him test it five times. Of course, I tested five times. Uh, one thing about the quality control of Securam is actually they do test all their locks before you even get them in your hands or at the end of the user. That lock has been tested 2,000 times. So, uh, you know, it's pretty foolproof. It's definitely ran before you ever get it or I ever get it to give to you. So it's got a good quality control, but, you know, even sometimes things happen so it is a PC board you know what I mean it could just be a bug in the system and stops working so drilled that filled it replaced it with new he was very happy left me a five-star review which is always appreciated and he's good to go all right guys take care